hey you guys so welcome back to my channel um so for this video i'm gonna attempt to do like soft glam because i've seen it like everywhere right now and like that's like i don't know like a popular makeup look and i haven't really tried it like i don't really know what my go-to makeup is like i just do my makeup but i'm gonna try like I noticed soft glam, like typically it's like a pretty like matte face and like neutral eye with like a cute wing or something. So I don't know. I'm gonna make it my own and let's just see what we get into. So I did my eyebrows and honestly, I wish that I showed you guys because I really like how my little eyebrow routine is going. And I've always just been like scared not scared but like I haven't wanted to do like an eyebrow routine yet like share one because I feel like my eyebrows are just never like what I want them to be but like sis they came a long way if you know you know um right now I'm just gonna be using I was gonna use my modern renaissance but I think I'm gonna use the naked heat it's a really pretty palette of just like reds and like neutral colors and i'm going to be using the colors up here for this look but we'll see um so today is january 30th thursday and it's like four so i'm trying to film this before the sun goes down i had so much trouble like earlier you guys um i'm gonna go in to the color low blow and put that all over my crease but it's just like a neutral brown but i had so much trouble like trying to film this like my camera my sd card was not like my computer or something is like full i don't really know what was happening like i have my camera right here i was ready to film and like none of my footage from my video that i filmed yesterday would go on there so i'm filming on my phone which i'm like not mad about at all like the iPhone 11 quality is so bomb, so I'm not even mad about it. But, um, yeah. That was just my little dilemma. I'm just gonna pack this color all over my crease and, like, focus it on the outer parts. I mean, I could have used tape, but, like, whatever. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I just made a TikTok account. I know. I know. It just looks so fun and I'm like, why not? So excuse me if I'm gonna be exiting out a couple times because I'm kind of filming like a makeup TikTok vibe right now for my first video. And we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. But follow me on TikTok. It's my same at name as all my social media, Clark Scott. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, my dad pointed out to me that I say, um, yeah, like as a transition, shout out to you. My family watches my videos. It kind of makes me cringe, but like, thanks for the support. I really love this crease color. Like I've never used like the neutral shades in this palette. Like I go for all like the reds and like the shimmery shades but this is cute oh my gosh i've been so obsessed with love island like if you know me love island is my show like i've actually been watching it for like a really long time like probably since like season four um but yeah it's so good i mean this season is good i think it's season six but i definitely would say that season four and five there's just no comparison like they're so good those are such good seasons so i feel like it's pretty good i think i'm gonna go back and just blend everything i'm really excited to try this new foundation vibe that i'm gonna try out today Okay, let me get it out before I forget. I'm gonna mix my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and my NARS. 
because the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop is like a matte foundation and the NARS is kind of like radiant and I feel like with soft glam like the face is really like matte but like still kind of glowy so we shall see and then I'm just using like this little I got this from Marshalls a little like brush cleaner in between eyeshadow so the next color that I'm gonna take is the color sauced just this color right here and I'm gonna be putting that on like the outer parts of my eye and my mirror is like I have a mirror right here too just in case you guys are wondering and I'm not looking off into the abyss I'm so nervous for eyeliner like I haven't done eyeliner in a hot minute but we're gonna try her out today but yeah, back to Love Island. I love Love Island. <gasps> and I love The Bachelor. I'm like an invested Bachelor fan. Like I used to hate The Bachelor. I was like, this is kind of a weird concept. Like even all dating shows are low key a weird concept, but I don't know. I feel like Peter is really good at dating 30 women. And I just love him. Like I'm in love with Peter. Just kidding, but the show is so good. It's getting so good and yeah, let me know. Comment down below if you watch Love Island or if you watch The Bachelor or what your favorite show is. Because those are mine. And I started you. I started you like two weeks ago and I'm still on season one. It's so good. I have to finish it. I think I said that in my last video. I hope that video goes up. I filmed like my everyday makeup. Like if you go on my Instagram and it's like um, I'm wearing like this gray cheetah jacket. I filmed that makeup look, even though it's a little bit different, but it's still the same vibe. But I'm just like kind of awkward. So I don't know. Hopefully it goes up. If it's up, then it's up before this video. But I'm so excited for February, you guys. The month of love. Like I love Valentine's Day. I think it's my mom's favorite holiday too. Like she loves Valentine's Day. And like not to be like, ooh, like gifts or whatever, but like I get the best gifts from my mom on Valentine's Day. Like, I don't know what it is. We both just love loves, I guess. But yeah, I'm just taking that color and I'm like pushing it up from my lid into my crease. Just so it creates like, a blended vibe. Um, I can't find the brush that I'm looking for. I love that. I'm just going to take this flat shader brush that I'm actually going to go back in and use later for a different reason. But I'm going to use it now just to kind of like clean up the edges of this look so it's not super harsh I've been trying more with eyeshadow to like utilize my eyelid space like typically I would focus my eyeshadow like way lower down but I have a lot of eyelid space so we're gonna use her okay now I'm going to attempt to cut my crease and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop no filter concealer and the color medium 28 fun fact I'm like low-key blind so it's really difficult for me to read without my glasses um again I love this concealer I mentioned it in my last video for cutting the crease because it's thick and it doesn't dry too fast. I'm gonna do kind of like a half cut crease. Takes focus when you're doing a cut crease. Like I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I really love filming on my phone. Like I don't know. 
I feel like I can see like myself more. That sounded really, what is that word? Um, narcissistic, but it's fine. Love myself, you know? Gotta love yourself. Never walk past a mirror without looking at yourself. Wise words with Paris Hilton. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm just gonna let her sit there for a second and then I'm gonna go in. Like, this is too big. I'm going with a smaller one. This is like a flat concealer brush and I'm just gonna like pat it. I'm not really gonna move from where I laid it. I'm just gonna pat it in and like bring the concealer inward. Just like that. I'm really excited. I've been so motivated to like do my makeup more lately, you guys. So expect more makeup videos from me for a second. I hope you enjoy. Because if you don't know, makeup is really my passion. Like, I love doing my makeup. This is like therapy. Even though cut creases are like the hardest thing ever for me, I'm truly enjoying myself right now. Just like that. I'm actually going to go in with it just a little bit more because this one right here is bothering me. And I'm just gonna take it. Just. Smack that right in there. And bring it down. But yeah, so February, I definitely am gonna do some Valentine's makeup looks, so get ready for that. I actually got a lot of love. Like I did like a Valentine's Day makeup look. I think it was like two years ago. Like I thought it was a year ago, but it was like two years ago. And honestly, looking at that makeup, it kind of makes me cringe, but I got a lot of compliments on it. And I'm just like, I can come through so much better, you guys now. I already have the looks in mind. Like I'm probably gonna do like two looks. Um, so those should be up either the first, probably the first week of February, but if not the first week, then the second week. Because Valentine's Day is the second week. You feel me? So they need to be up. Okay. I could literally just go back and forth all day. But I think I'm done with that. So I'm going to go in with um, this fluffy brush that I was using for my crease. And I'm going to go back into that color low blow. And I'm just going to go a bit like above where I put that concealer. Just so it's not super harsh. Now I'm going to go in with this big fluffy brush that I used to kind of like clean up the edges. And I did want to go into the color ounce, which is like, I don't know if it's like a pearly white like color. But I'm thinking I want to go into the color chaser, which is kind of like a soft white. Like that's ounce and that's chaser. I'm going to try them both. I'm gonna go into Chaser first. And I'm just gonna pack it on to where I put that concealer. Just like that. Oh, that's really pretty. I 
And I'm just gonna keep packing that on until I'm satisfied. While simultaneously going back and forth with that same brush that I was using to blend the crease. Just to take away any harsh lines. Because that's not cute. And then I'm also going to go into that color ounce. Just to give it a bit of a more of a boom. I feel like it's not showing up on camera too much, but I think I am gonna darken up the crease just a little bit more. And I'm gonna go in with my mom and Renaissance. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so nervous for eyeliner right now, but our best, okay? If I mess up a couple times, don't judge me. Uh, Q-tips on deck. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with my liquid liner and then go over it with gel. So let's try it. <laughs> Jesus, it's not my eyeliner come out good. Amen. Gotta say a quick prayer. This eyeliner is so good though, the Sephora liquid. Definitely recommend her. So I'm going to try, I don't know if I want a thick line or a thin line. We'll see what happens. But for my eyeliner, I usually start like doing like the line, like outline of my eye and then doing the wing. But some people do the wing first. I don't really know. I think I'm going to start with the outline. It just feels safe. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm not going to like go in there. I'm going to go in the inner part with the gel. So I'm going to attempt to do the same thing to the other side. <laughs> Jesus. I need to do my eyeliner more because it should not be this scary, but it's scary. I remember when I was first starting out with makeup, like I went ham. Like I did my eyeliner every day, sis. So if I could do it, and if I could do this every day in the eighth grade, I can do it now. They're a little different, but we're getting there. <laughs> process. She is the process, you know? I'm gonna try and use a smaller mirror. And then I think I'm gonna use kind of like a wispy lash today. These are the eyewear lashes. Pretty cute. I have no idea what the name is because they're not in the packaging, but I'm very cute. Now I'm gonna take this Morphe eyeliner in Jet, and it's just a black eyeliner. And I think I'm gonna spray it with aloe. Just a tad. And I'm going to go over that liner. And by the way, this brush is kind of like a pointy brush. I feel like I'm in that scene of burlesque where Cher is teaching Christina Aguilera how to do her eyeliner. If you know, you know. Okay guys, so I'm finally done with my wings. They're a bit different, but I just can't do it anymore. So that's what she's gonna be. We're almost there. So next is the lashes. These are kind of like a wispy vibe. Um, maybe I'll 
Communication is going on. Yeah, these days are really pretty. Very natural. Very natural. Which is kind of the vibe of the look. Soft glam. So I'm going to go in with this and my Kiss Lash Glue. The best lash glue ever. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the lash line and wait until it's tacky. I really want to try this eyelash like hack that I've seen people do. Like they literally put eyelash glue like on their lash line. But my lashes, like you can't really tell, but they're pretty long. So I kind of struggle with doing stuff like that because my natural lashes will just get stuck and don't really need that negativity in my life. I'm trying to race against the sun because she's setting and at least the lighting is cute. Hey guys, so the sun has officially gone and it's a little bit later. I have one lash on from the last time I spoke with you guys Whew, and I'm kind of mad about it, but I can't be the first person to try and make a video and then they lose the sun. That's actually better. So I'm just going to pop on this other lash and you know, pray my pictures come out cute because I'm actually mad that the sun went down, but you know, it's life, you have to keep going, so. So I'm just gonna put on my other eyelash and keep going because that's life and you have to keep going. <laughs> but I really do love how my eyes come out. So the lashes are on. They're really cute and just wispy. I just would not say that the eyes are my favorite part of makeup. Like, I love doing, like, the face and, like, sometimes brows. But, like, overall, face makeup is my favorite. Eyes are just stressful. Um, so the primer that I'm actually going to use is my Milk Hydro Primer. Um... Yeah, but I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and then I'll be right back. Ooh, I was still filming. Sorry if you hear noise. Um, my niece and my brother are here, and she's just the cutest little baby. Babies make noise, you guys. So yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna go in with my primer and put it all over my face. I love this primer so much. It's very hydrating and it's like a good, I think that's what it's even called, Hydro Grip Primer. Like I feel like the primers I use just don't grip well, if that makes sense. Because some primers and foundations just aren't compatible, but I feel like this is a good primer that's just Good with any foundation so that's what we're doing and especially since i'm going to use a matte foundation i want to use a bit of like a hydrating primer so now that my primer's on i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mix these two foundations so i'm going to go in with the nars natural radiant longwear foundation and i'm in the color ruba and then i'm gonna use the nyx can't stop won't stop in caramel they're pretty similar but a little different i'm gonna do about two pumps of that and then i'm gonna do about one okay there we go 
finally got my foundation out even though i had to get it out in a really uncomfortable way like ew we managed so that was kind of stressful i'm not gonna lie but it's fine and i'm just gonna take this like buffing brush like it's for contour but it's still the same vibe different shape than a foundation brush and i'm just gonna mix them and put them on my face Ew, I actually really like this. Mixed together vibe. Like these are really pretty together. I love the way your face just looks like once you put your foundation on, like, totally my favorite part. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go in and we're going to contour now. So to contour, I kind of use like a lot of different things, not a lot, but like I use two different contours, cream contours and concealers. So I always go in with my Born This Way concealer in the color Warm Beige. Going to the sides of my nose, right here in the center, my chin, and I'm just going to let that sit a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cream contour. So I take this Morphe Dual Fiber Brush, it's an M436 brush, and I spray my aloe water. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Coco, and I just kind of rub. And then I just put it on my cheekbones. Personally, for this product, I think I said it, to just put it on and then smear my face a little and then I also go back and I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop contouring concealer in the color cappuccino and I just dab it on top of that brush And I don't really care too much to like, for my jaw, it doesn't bother me. But my cheekbones, they have to be snatched. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Beauty Blender and just press in that concealer. More active on Instagram too, you guys. If you don't follow me, stop what you're doing and go follow me because I love posting on my story. Um, I love posting more like actual Instagram posts as well. I love getting ready and like posting the picture or like going out and like taking pics. Like it's legit fun to me. So definitely doing that more this year. Um, I'm gonna put just this, I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox Studio Fix Concealer in the color Light Medium Warm Peach. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corners of my eyes just to make it a little bit brighter. But I'm gonna let it sit a bit. Oh my gosh, I've been watching Desperate Housewives too, like on and off. I feel like I'm never gonna finish it though. Like it has like eight seasons. Like I'm not gonna lie, like when I first started watching Grey's Anatomy like five years ago, four years ago, I finished it in like a year or like a couple months. I don't know. 
I don't know, but I was consistent with like Grey's Anatomy. I was consistent with Gossip Girl. But for some reason, Desperate Housewives is just so hard to finish. But it's so good. So good. And I'm gonna blend my concealer out. And I just kind of creates like an airbrushed. Like I'm also just gonna go in with the Born This Way. And I wipe off a significant amount of the product because I don't want to use too much. And I'm just gonna carve out my jawline. Because I noticed it really makes a difference with your makeup, like when this part is way more defined. And then I kind of fan it a little. I just press it and push it in. And it just defines your contour and makes your jaw and your cheekbones even more snatched important when you're like using cream products and stuff with your beauty blender for it to be wet and especially i think even though it's gonna like cool off eventually i like to use hot water i like warm water like it really helps put the products into your skin more there's so many good shows this year like i'm just like thinking about it grownish has come back if you guys haven't noticed i love shows like i'm a huge movie show person they're just cinema connoisseurs or what have you it's just so good like what if you know you know about nomi like huh i haven't watched episode two yet but it's crazy it's crazy but i love that show because like i'm in school too and it just makes me feel like i don't know like you know like how people probably felt when like they were watching degrassi and like in school like, it's just cool to have a show. And, like, you know, you're going through the same things in life and, like, it's cool to relate to or whatever. We're almost there. We're almost done. Thank you so much if you're still watching. Because I really love this makeup look. Like, I think it's really cute. And I kind of just... I switched the way I do my nose contour now. I focus it on tip and just bring it down just like that the Fenty matchstick is so good to contour your nose with because it's not like too much of a creamy consistency to where it's like runny and you can't like work with the product like this is definitely a product that like you're in control of if that makes sense and then Depending on how I feel, I'll just take whatever's left on the concealer side of my beauty blender and just use that. Okay. That's pretty much it for the cream products. And so now is contouring and bronzing. So, yikes. I go in with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. So caramel cutie and I take it on this like angled contour brush and just go in oh my gosh if you're watching this video I'm pretty sure my new intro and outro are up and I love it so much Diana Hit her up. I'll have her information in the description box below. Um, she has an Instagram and stuff for her, for your tech needs. Anything you desire, she can complete and get your bomb intros and outros. So that's pretty much it for my contouring. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I use the Milani bronzer in Soleil. And I don't take like that angled part, I take the other side. And just go into it. Oh, I didn't even set my under eyes. I've been so obsessed with looking at them. 
like they look so good typically as soon as i'm done blending my um concealer i go in with my setting powder and this is the fenty setting powder in banana best setting powder in the world let me just tell you that at least that i've tried so far I say it every single video or something or when I'm like doing my makeup, but if you're using the Laura Mercier setting powder, stop. This is so much better. And it smells so good. Like it smells like candy. I love makeup terms. Like I'm just gonna cut my jawline real quick. Like, huh? <laughs> and then get these smile lines in check. I'm definitely not going anywhere. I feel like I just have to like make that known. It's fine. Um, I actually might go somewhere, so I'm kind of lying, but usually, like my last video, didn't go anywhere. And I'm totally okay with that. Like I love just like doing my makeup and filming it. So we're done and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> just I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna wipe off my bake. Sometimes I go in with my blush while my bake is still on, but like that's kind of weird, so I'm gonna stop. So I take like this domed powder brush and I kind of push it in twice and then I swipe it okay. and now I'm gonna try a pink blush because I never really use pink and I feel like it's soft glam so pink that's what I think of. We'll be going to this Morphe palette. And typically I would use like an angled brush. But I'm gonna try just like this domed one. Typically I use it for bronzer, but whatever. And I'm just gonna go into this matte blush. It's called Goals and it's pink. I'm just plop that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go back. I guess with my makeup, I just do it all. Are you like me or are you super in order when you do your makeup? I feel like that's just so gross when there's just like a strong contour line. Like on the nose, can't vibe. If you do that, it's your business. But <laughs> I'm just gonna take that brush that I used to contour and just kind of blend it. And then I like a, what's it called blush? What is it? Like a shimmery blush, but I'm trying to make this look like matte, so I'm gonna stay away from that. Which is so weird to me. Like, I just love my face to be super glowy. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with blush. I love blush. I didn't put too much over my nose, so I'm gonna do that actually. It just looks cute. So, next is highlight. But before I highlight, I'm going to stir my face because I got a message, but yeah, I just like my face to feel like hydrated. So I don't really know what highlight I'm about to use. I always mix them. Probably going to mix like six and then we're going to do lips and then we're done sis. So the first highlight I'm going to go in with is the Ofra Rodeo Drive. 
I'm gonna take that on my fan brush. I'm just gonna focus it on the high points of my hoops. And again, I'm like the person who likes to use the same highlight for my inner corner and brown bone. Next, I'm going to do lips and I think I'm going to do this lip that I tried out yesterday. It's so cute. So before I go on with lips, I'm going to set my face and I'm going to be using the Morphe Jeffree Star Setting set and freshness in star berry it smells like strawberry so love that and i kind of like to like drown you know love that so i spray like a good amount I like how I said I was gonna use a whole bunch and I used just one. That was funny. Okay, so now that I highlighted, I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and go over my lips a bit. So the colors that I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna do like a nude lip, definitely. I'm gonna use a brown liner and like this pinky nude from Jeffree Star and Celebrity Skin. It looks like that. And then I'm going to be using this NYX lip liner in the color Toast. Just brown lip liner. And then I'm also going to go over it with my MAC nude lipstick in Naturally Transformed. So let's get it going. Honestly, when I first tried out the look, I just went over it with my lipstick and then I went over with the lip liner. But today I'm going to try just going in with the lip liner. And then going over with the lipstick because that just sounds right. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really love my lips. I think I have like decent sized lips like i don't think that they're small like it was the weirdest thing like i got several compliments on my lips this week i was like thank you so i used to be really against like nude lips with like brown liner but i really like this one and i feel like with soft glam like that's just the lip you know so i'm gonna take it and I feel like that noise is so annoying. Like this is not an ASMR video, Clark. Calm down. But I definitely want to do one of those. Like, let me know. I really want to do, I want to get into like mukbanging and like ASMR. Those videos are so satisfying. I don't care what anyone says. This is like kind of cute by itself, but I feel like it's too pink. I'm gonna go in with the I was gonna say next. This is MAC Naturally Transformed, and it is my favorite nude in the world. It is a brown nude, not a pink, not a super white, brown. And it's just so cute. And it really just like pulls in the lip. And typically, I do gloss, but like, I don't know. Clips out now. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to do completely? I forgot to put mascara on to blend my lashes. That is such a cringe thing. Like, I have to do that. Okay, guys, so I'm done with this makeup look. This is how the makeup came out super glowy, matte face. 
and I decided not even to put a gloss on but I really like it this is my take on soft glam I don't really know I think she's cute though so yeah comment down below if you use any of the same products as me or you know if you like this look and I feel like I'm probably gonna do this again like she was cute I like her so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on my next video and definitely subscribe to stay updated on when I post but yeah make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel candidly clark I'll have it up here or down in this description box below um thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video bye oh, if we happen to be is that okay <laughs>